My name is Caroline Hull, and I'm the Artistic Director of Project Spotlight. Woo! Thank you. <laughs> For those of you who may not be aware of what exactly Project Spotlight is, we are a student developmental theater organization on UCF campus, and that means that absolutely everything you're about to see tonight was done by students. That means student written, student directed, student designed, student produced, and of course, student acted. You have got to get prepared for the two wonderful shows that we have for you tonight, which will be separated for by a brief 15 minute intermission. Please refrain from using flash photography and video recording devices because our actors are easily startled. In case of emergency, please refer to the exit signs in the back of the theater and on the sides. And before we get started, I just wanted to say that I cannot stress enough how hard so many people have worked to make this festival possible. I actually, since this is our last night, I wanted to give a special shout out to the wonderful Shannon Motherwell, our company stage manager, for all of the hard work she put into making this possible. And the lo lovely Sam Devaye, who is our developmental director, who also is an absolutely incredible human. And I don't think she's in here right now, but Cami Blades is our front of house manager and she's the one running concessions and she's also the best. So thank you so much to everyone. And if you can, please take time during intermission or after the show to look at the digital playbill. There's a QR code outside in the lobby and read more about all of the wonderful individuals who contributed so much time and effort this semester. It's really would be impossible without them. So without further ado, Please join me in welcoming Poltergeist, written by Will Sipple and directed by Caroline Hull and Mackenzie Smith. Fine, fine, but I remember all the rules. 
No clothes off, no touching, and no headstands. You're a wimp. I get queasy. If I go upside down and cover my carpet in liquid pizza hut, you're cleaning it up. Okay, I want you to make a prank call to Father Jacob. <laughs> Easy. A dirty prank call. Oh. Say you love me. I love you. Thank you. This better turn you on. Oh, it will. <sighs> Hey, babe, what are you wearing? Come on, you can do better than that. No, this isn't Father Jacob. This is my smoking date. Now stop playing or I'll have to teach you a lesson when I get home. Come on, get him hot. Oh, it is you, Father? <laughs> Sorry, no, stay on the line. Forgive me, Father, for I'm about to sin even more. Uh, did you guys break up or am I missing something? Depends on how much they hit it off. Sorry, KJ game, we're too much cringe. Well, oh, I'm never going to confession again. That was pretty good, like a solid six. Tommy, enough games. It's time to smash. I'm taking back my title this year, two years after graduation. Give me time to get good. Oh, and no Mennonite this time. He's broken and you know it. Uh, dude, we don't start festivities until everyone is here. Uh, what about your dirty Jacob? Smash is sacred. <laughs> where, where is everyone? We agree on not, right? In almost an hour. Okay, I can understand being like something once, maybe twice. I don't understand how those two managed to be late to everything. It's like clockwork, but like, with no clocks. <laughs> Women. Am I right? I was here first. Those specific women. Am I right? They're just getting ready. If they need that long to get ready, they're, uh, they're up to something. No, Kennedy is probably the straightest woman I have ever met. Well, you don't think there's a chance? I mean, there's like a 1% chance that May is with Kennedy, which is more of a chance than you have. I'll speak of the devil. Nerves? Oh my freaking god, I haven't seen you in like forever! Kennedy! <laughs> oh, it's so good to see you. I'm so glad you got Halloween off and your work schedule sucks. Oh, I know. I'm talking to manager at Ulta would give me a little bit more control, but they need me peddling shitty foundation like every day, you know? I would give you my free samples as an apology, but believe me, girl, your pores would never recover. Uh, thank you. So, Maple Leaf, what took you guys so long? I was ready two hours ago. She hadn't shown up yet. Sorry. Oh, so uh, nothing, uh, nothing happened? What did you think happened? <sighs> nothing. Okay, now that everyone is here, I hereby declare the fifth annual Donnie Spooky Shindig. Maybe work on it a little harder. <laughs> 
How about this, huh? The old gang back together? Not the speech. Oh, it's time for the speech. Uh, Chloe isn't here. Ah, Chloe makes a speech. Then why do we still have to hear it? I hate it too. Long ago, the five of us gathered together in study hall for the first time. Many called us a clique, a cliche, a high school band, the jock, the artist, the class clown, the popular girl, and me! And they laughed and said we were like a cheesy movie. But those movies get made because the bonds that we form in high school are bonds that we form for life. That's right. And here we are on the highest of holidays to celebrate our friends and our love. Bill, come on. You suck. <laughs> what a teddy bear. I think I saw you in Build-A-Bear. <laughs> I bet Chloe comes over here every day to give him makeup tips. Yeah, dude, did you quit college baseball because you're too much of a softy? I got hit by a car. All right, everyone, <laughs> circle up on the floor. I brought a game to play. <laughs> what I have here is a seance kit. Oh, oh my god, yes, yes, yes! <laughs> Please shut up. <laughs> I've been getting really into the occult recently. Tarot cards, crystals, spiritualism. All kinds of bullshit. Well, we all know how a house is super old and big and fancy for like a hundred years ago. You ever wonder how it came into the hands of a poor repairman? No offense. Oh, don't take it. Because the original owner died here after murdering her ten-year-old daughter. Oh my god, Donnie, is that true? Maybe. It's an old family story. It's 100% true. Jacqueline Morris is one of Ohio's first documented serial killers. She funded this house with her family's fortune, and all three of her husbands ended up dead after trying to steal it from her. The first, poisoned at a supper club. The second, decapitated by two loose field horses and a rope. And the third, shot in broad daylight, which she convinced the townspeople was a suicide. And she would have gotten away with it, too, had it not been for her daughter, Julie. In a fit of greed and rage, she murdered her daughter right there in that safe. Ew, I spent hangovers in there. <laughs> she was murdered in a shootout with the police, and now the blood of the Morrises lives in the floorboards. That's how Donnie's great grandfather got it so cheap. There's, there's no way that's true. It's just a scary story, right? <laughs> so, since this house is certifiably messed up, I thought we could spend this oh spookiest of nights seeing if any of the ghosts want to say hello. Who's in? Oh, this is so cute. Let me get a picture. Hold on. <laughs> Give me one second. One minute. <laughs> That part might have been hazy. 
Do you even get paid? I do. People tip. Do they? Hey, what's the show next? Uh, okay, I'll go. Uh, I don't know. I've been back in town for a year now, and I guess my secret is that I'm doing okay. Boo. Breaking news. The jock with the hot girlfriend is happy. Look how jealous I am. The what girlfriend? Uh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but it's true. People don't think I am happy. I, I was a star pitcher, scouted in college. I had an accident, dropped out for injury. It's a classic sob story. But you know, it's okay. I'm, I'm home. I, I get to be with Chloe every day. I have a steady job at the auto shop. It makes me just as happy as my dream would have. I'm chilling. It's cool. Right? What was that? Uh, it's fine. This house is super old. Shit breaks all the time. I'll clean it up later. Maybe the ghost is. <laughs> Maybe. I spoke my truth after all. Wow, that's really good. It's really good. You got to speak your truth and all. Well, oh, don't start. Don't do that. Don't don't start me. You know I don't like it when you rub in how awesome your life is. Hey, I'm not rubbing it in. Well, that's really how it feels. Do you guys need a minute? Or? No, it's fine. I'm fine. We're sharing our truth. So here's my truth. My life sucks right now. I haven't done anything since I dropped out of college and... Everyone told me my work was shitty, and it hurt. I mean, it did, but I was at least someone that people talked about, and now I am just nobody. Back in nowhere, southern Ohio, and when I'm not hanging out with Donnie or working, I'm usually just napping, because what else is there to do? And I don't know, I feel like I've wasted all these years trying to be something that I wasn't, so. <laughs> that is so sad. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be okay, babe. It's not your fault, it gets better. Okay. You should get back to painting. What? If you really want to feel better, you should get back to painting. It made you happy. May, I love you, but the professionals all think I'm trash. Okay, then do it for you. Don't let them tell you not to be happy. I'm not letting anything happen. You don't seem to be doing anything to stop it. And everybody stop screaming! <laughs> <laughs> don't minimize her struggles. She's a strong fucking woman, and I get it! I get it, girl. At least you went to college. I thought I could work hard and make it right here at home. All the nerds said a pretty girl couldn't get a good job after high school, and I did! From, from prom queen to assistant manager at Ulta, and a full ass recession! And I'm not even a woman in fucking STEM, so... <laughs> so suck my dick, May! You're acting crazy. No, you're acting crazy! You don't realize how good you have at River Creek High! I'm out in the real world, and it fucking sucks But You work hard, and no one appreciates you, or tells you you're pretty, you're trying to buy pictures <laughs> you're just mad because you're a washed up skank. Whoa! Take that back. Um, no, it's true. Take it back! I'll mess you up so bad, May! Not gonna lie, this is pretty hot. <laughs> and you're not a real comedian, you're just a misogynistic ass. Oh, come on, come on, May. Come on. May, please, not at the party. And you're a bum that doesn't care about anything, and you're a quitter and a complainer. Jesus Christ, you guys! What? Uh, you're all just so, so sad. You're all whining, whining about your stupid, boring lives at your weird little high school Halloween party two years after graduating. None of you ever changed your groove. Goofing off in high school is fun because it's the only thing there is to do. I liked being your friends when we were still in school together, but good lord, now you're all burnouts. How's that supposed to make me feel? To be surrounded by so much, so much failure. I'm done with school soon, and if this is what I have to look forward to, then fuck, what's the point? I hate it here. I wish I had friends my own age and not you, you losers. That's the truth. Oh my god, May, are you okay? Oh shit, oh my god, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. She just knocked the wind out of me. What is wrong with you? I never get to come out and play. Why are you being so weird? Fucking apologize. Don't be mean like mom. This isn't funny, May. Mean like when she stuck my head in. This isn't funny. Now go apologize right now. And um, I'm not really a washed up skank, am I? <laughs> ah! Whoa, what the fuck? What the hell? Hey! Ah. I only get to come out once a year, and you're all gonna play with me whether you like it or not. This, this, pro this prank sucks, Ray. Not funny. May's gone. I hate her. She is real tasty, but I can still be funny. So much funnier than your shit jokes, Petey. It's a good thing you still have a mommy and daddy to take care of you, or else you'd be dead on the street. Oh, okay, fine, fine. I, I was funny in the high school talent show, but on the real scene, I'm just okay. I hate myself. Just, just leave me alone. 
What are we for? Nothing funny to add. Tell me a joke, mister. Tell me a joke or I'll eat out your eyes. Who did you buy blue in that? Stay back. I'm calling 911. No fun. Do you want to be next, Donnie? Maybe I'll tear your hamstring out again. Tear it all the way up this time. I took way too much water and not enough blood. Who did come that festival of Fatu es la peace? Quickly, find to limbs. This incantation is not permanent. She will have a wits about to still, but the terror will cease with the tightening of rope. Tie her off! Oh, oh Object, evil. 
I don't believe in absolute evil. People aren't just good or bad. They're a total sum of their experiences. I mean, crazy people go out and murder their families or whatever, but no sane person thinks, today I think I'll be evil. <laughs> that was a coherent thought, Kennedy. Wow. Oh my god, thank you. Well, this sorry will love nothing more than to torture us all for eternity. But she needs a warmer body to do it. She was going to take mine, but I was saved at the last minute. One of the dimwit poltergeists guys dropped a bookshelf on me. <laughs> a proper lesson in why to fasten your furniture to the wall. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say you got saved by dying? Ironic, yes. But without me alive, there was no host organism to take over. Fun. Death is highly destructive to spirits. The soul escaping the body is like a bomb to them. So, worst case scenario, I may kill one of you to cut off the ghost. No fucking way, psycho! I said, worst case scenario. Donnie! I must employ you to calm down. Hysteria will get us nowhere, and the spirits don't take kindly to leaving desecrated ground during a seance. Uh, are we screwed then? What the hell are we gonna do? First, stop being so emotionally open. The more spirits are drawn to you, the easier Sarah's path is going to be. We need to don our armor and prepare to hold down the fort. If we can keep them away until midnight, the power will vanish. But we need protection. See, certain foods across spirits, especially granted the liquids to release the fumes. Let's see, they hit garlic, cinnamon, cilantro. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Cilantro? It's gross. <laughs> I'm sorry to get it. Hugh, stay here and uh, go the hostage. Your uh, simple ways make you strong against the powers of suggestion. <laughs> Why cilantro? Why cilantro? Well. This sucks pretty hard, huh, man? I want revenge. Too bad, girl. I wanted to be the first girl in high school to win prom queen two years in a row, and I only got it once. So, you never get what you want. <laughs> mother, mother is here. I don't want to be here any more than you want to be with me. I miss the real May, even if she does think I'm a washed up skank or whatever. <laughs> she doesn't smell like fish. <laughs> Mommy? If I die here, we'll be with only these few friends. That's the worst part. In high school, everybody loved me, and now, and now nobody likes me. Everybody hates me. Why don't they like me anymore? Is it so bad to want people to like you? Why don't they like me anymore, May? I didn't know that that was a good 
ghosting at all. I just, I wanted to know if everyone was as miserable as me. And now, I'm paying for it. Or what Do I make you miserable? No. Sometimes. No. It's just that, um, I feel empty most of the time. I don't know, maybe that's what these freaks want, the emptiness inside of me. <laughs> okay, listen. Everything is going to be okay. That's what you always say. Maybe you will die. And, and maybe we won't. Okay. We, we just got to stay home for a few more minutes, and then we'll figure out how to make you better. Okay? Okay. 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 Evil? What boy? You hate 
Is your life correct? Good. We have that in common. Allow me to free us both. Goodbye, Chloe. Donnie? Donnie, I know you're still in there. Hey, it's me, Chloe. Remember me? Um, I told you I loved you the first week into our relationship, and then I hid in my room for three days, and then you had to call me and tell me you said it back, and then it was all fine. Um, we left Sharpie Hearts on every bridge in Southern Ohio, and I stole your lunch for a year. Remember? I'm sorry that I was jealous of you, but I really, really love you, and I just want everything to be okay, so snap out of it, and everything will be okay. Oh, oh shit, Chloe, run! Thank God, make them stop! You, you are, are foolish to resist. resist. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. Zario has come from her mortal body. Wait, it's almost midnight. When someone dies, it hurts the ghost, right? Oh, it hurts, Kumi Gang. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay, babe. I love you. Everything's gonna be just fine. I'm sorry. Please! There has to be another way! <gasps> Chloe, thank God you're okay! Don't go in the kitchen! Fucking <laughs> gross. Oh my God, I just saw it, Dad. We all know what we saw. Look, we're safe, we can leave. Minnie, go call the police. Okay, um, see ya. Sorry. I'm so sorry. It's fine. Um, everything's fine. You're the last person to deserve this. I know. This is awful. I'm your friend. You can talk to me. When you're ready. I'm gonna go check on the others, okay? Okay. I love you. Um, Kennedy, just so you know, I'm not scared. Well, I kind of was scared when my body slammed me, but, um, not really of, like, life. I just, uh, I, I had already lost so much, and I told myself I had nothing else left to lose, and, I mean, Donnie helps. He made me happy, but I don't, I don't know. I'm sorry. Honey, no, no, no. Look at me. Hey. Everything gets better. And sometimes shit sucks. Like tonight. But you know what Donnie would say. That eventually everything will be okay. I hated him for saying that, but somehow I still try and believe it.
feel like with us going to other colleges, there's not really going to be a reason for all of us to stay together. Ah, we'll be fine. I'm an athlete. I won't even take any world classes. I mean, I know we'll stay together, but I really love our friends too, and I just, I don't want this to be our last vacation day. Uh, I promise you it won't. I will drag everyone's ass back here and make them play Twister, like it or not. I'm never going to stop having a good time. Sure, you're not going to find a prettier girl in Florida after graduation, beach body and all? Yep. What? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Babe, I found someone perfect for me way earlier than most guys. I count myself lucky. Save up now for plane tickets. No matter how far you go, you're stuck with me. That's the truth. <laughs> Did you just have a stroke? No! No, I'm fine! I'm fine! Oh shit, wow. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god! I told you! You definitely stomach. had a stroke! I'm not having a stroke! I'm dead! I'm a ghost! I came back to see you! I... Yeah! I know it's right. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. I'm... Okay, so, I'm dead. I die in this house two years from now. There's uh, other ghosts and a demon who wants your body. I'm back because ghosts don't have to follow time. There's another guy who's better at explaining it. I know, right? Crazy. You're a time-traveling ghost of yourself. Okay, so I made this whole plan to prove it to you. I studied what happens today. Um, oh, my mom is about to tell you not to have loud music. about to text you and say she's going to be late because of a car accident. Oh my god! Oh, and then clarify she doesn't mean she was in the accident. Oh, uh, Pete's here early, wearing a slightly offensive costume. Yeah. Oh, don't bother answering it. He's going to bail in one minute when Minnie King Booty calls him with a fake address. It's a pretty good prank. I know, this is all just a stupid prank. Oh, and then the power goes out. It's a short blackout. Ah, can you hear me out? This is crazy. I mean, this is insane. Okay, um, oh, did you brush your teeth before I got here because you think I'll leave you if I catch a bad whiff. Uh, you got your period early today and you're mad at God. Uh, you've been worried all day that this is going to be the last Halloween party. You're nostalgic and worried all at once. It symbolizes this short, happy time in your life when you don't worry about what comes next and don't care. The next two years are hard and not what you wanted. But I'm still there and the parties keep happening and we stay happy. So, you're a time traveling ghost of yourself. Okay. Even if you think I might be lying, can you play along? Okay. Um, this is weird. Can I ask you something? Anything. Does Obama win the election? <laughs> he does, yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so good to see you. Um, so, we really stay together? We do. For a while. Then I get stabbed in the neck in his kitchen. Fucking hell, that sucks. It did. It did, in fact, suck. <laughs> But hey, I know what you're thinking, like, maybe we can stop this, stop it from happening, but it's kind of important. See, there's a demon, she needs your body, it's a whole thing. And I have to be here now for it not to happen. This is a lot to process. <laughs> what you need to do, you need to not be here on Halloween two years from now. If you stay away, this demon bitch won't end the world. I know missing the party will suck, but I also die on that day, so I figure you won't want to see that anyways. Seeing you hurt could kill me. It actually won't. I fucked my leg up permanently freshman year of college. No, what about your baseball program? It, it's okay, it's okay. Being bedridden gave me more time to hang out with you. That was your whole dream, though. I'm not the only one who kind of gives up on their dreams. See? We all have pretty sad lives. And while my advice to save the world is for you not to come back here, my advice for you 
Let's not come back here. What are you talking about? Leave. Go to college. Stay there. You have an amazing gift. You used to have this sparkle, this drive, this life. I get to see whenever I want now. And watching you give up on it was shitty. I give up. Yes. But you don't have to. Leave this ghost town, Chloe. Make something of yourself. And I promise you'll be happy. No. I will not be happy. You need to tell me what to do so that two years from now I can stop this all from happening because that is not enough time with you. I'm sorry that's done. No, no it's not. I will be your hell girlfriend if I have to. It's done! Okay, let's, okay. Hold on. Okay. Close your eyes. Now what do you want? I want, um... I don't know what I want. I'm just a kid. What do I know? I mean, what I want probably doesn't even exist. Um, I want to be something. I want to be important. I want to matter. And not in like an asshole way. I don't want to be like a rock star or something, but I just, I want to matter. And art makes me feel like I matter. And if I can just Show people how I feel, or maybe even make them feel the same way, that I think everything would be just fine. Okay, that sounds great. What about you? Are you going to be fine with your stabbing and being a freaking weird time ghost? <laughs> I think I will. Hey, I peaked in high school. I had a hot girlfriend, great friends. Staying here now forever doesn't sound too bad. But hey, just promise me something. I've seen everything the universe has to offer. And the best thing you can do is to keep trying. I promise. If it'll put your spirit to rest or whatever. I uh, will not. I'm stuck here forever. Well, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but it will make you feel better. Okay. Hey, how about we get started on that eternity? I've uh, spent a few hundred years practicing my Jenga. Really? Maybe, with infinite knowledge of the universe, I still don't get how time works. Right? Well, you're yeah. an idiot. Yeah, well, okay. You want to do a little rule? Uh, yes. Okay, so if I win, I get to possess you, but with ghost powers and all, that sounds dope as hell. Possession rules, huh? What? It does. I'm going to haunt you forever, babe. Stay on my good side. Fight me. 